Well, Ross, thanks for joining us. Was that the most complete performance since you've taken charge? <laughs> um, I would say in terms of the way that we went about the game, I would say so. You know, it was a really surreal Tuesday night. Obviously, he wasn't there, Dave, but the performance, I won't have that against you. Um, the performance on Tuesday night, I thought, was excellent against a very good team. And obviously, we come out of it with a defeat, which was extremely disappointing. But there was so much to take out of it. I think what we showed today is a resilience in the conditions. We showed that we can go and do, we can manage the game. Uh, better than than we have done probably on occasions this year. Certainly to the start of it, you know, when when we're not uh, we're not you know, creative or getting on the ball, we we showed that little bit of uh, robustness today to to be in the game and, and 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 work hard and make sure that we could give ourselves a platform in games, which as we all know has been uh, an area of the performances this year that's let us down. So I think absolutely delighted the fact that we've. Um, created the number of opportunities that we've done um, and, and, and gone about that performance today with a, with a doggedness to give ourselves a chance. And two goals from Wilson Turo. He just loves playing football, doesn't he? He does. I think that's um, something you, don't, you never want him, to, want him to lose. You know, he's got that, um, that rawness, that... Uh, that energy, that belief in himself to go out and, and score, but just take. I think he does such a good job for us as well. No, two, two, two good goals today, but the way he takes the uh, pressure off us at times when we're under a little bit of pressure or you know teams are putting balls in the box, we know that we've got Ruel at the other end of the pitch who's going to work hard and, 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 and get the ball up the pitch for us as well as, like I say, two goals he's taken. And Cissé's made such an impact and he was a very important player today with that goal. Yeah, um, it sort of seemed to take forever to go in. I, don't, I haven't seen it back yet, but I thought it was a great ball by Wrighty. We've, we've, um, we've made a real focus on, on the set pieces in the last, last sort of week or two. Um, you know, Joby's taken a real responsibility of that, about the delivery that we put into the box and people committing to go and get on the end of it. And um, he bundled it over the line. So I'm delighted for him because... As we all know, I haven't been able to get him 90 minutes in, in, since he's been here because of um, because of his position and, and the amount of time that he's that he's been able to spend on the pitch this year. So I'm delighted that he's uh, he's gone in and put that performance and been rewarded with a goal. And a clean sheet for Lance Figueroa. That was a big thing that uh, me and Dino were shouting for the last 12, 15 minutes. Was clean sheet, clean sheet, clean sheet. That, you know, there hasn't been enough of them this year. There hasn't been enough of the. Um, you know that that base to give ourselves a, an opportunity to go and win games of football. So when you go three goals up like that, it was about not trying to go and get the fourth, fifth, and sixth. It was about trying to see for a, a clean sheet. So delighted for Lawrence, but I'm delighted for for everybody. To, you know that we get that clean sheet. He didn't score today, but Mick Payne in commentary was saying about how hard Connor Wilkinson worked to make the space for Wool. Yeah, massively. And I think um, you know you and I have had conversations this year about Connor playing down the middle, uh, where we felt that he uh, enjoys playing the most, but we've put him in that position uh, in the last couple of weeks and he gives us a real platform to you know to, to, to build and get on it and his movement's very clever I think because of his, his size and his athleticism he moves defenders around and, and as we say it opened up a real opportunity for Real to score. And at the back it was an excellent performance particularly from Marvin Epiteta. I think I think outstanding with Marv um, He's obviously found himself, like a, like a lot of people, in and out of the team this year. But I think he, um, in the last few weeks, he's really grabbed hold of the opportunity. And I think Marv's performances have been the same as you know the last sort of three and a half games, as I've referred to with the boys after the game there. He's, um, we're all improving. We've all got to seem to have that little bit more focus. Maybe we've got to grips with the level a little bit more. I, I don't know the, all the answers, but um, Marv's performances have con- coincided with us getting better and better. And I think Dan Appy alongside him, they've, they've really complemented each other. Their athleticism, their ability to defend, they've added a, an aggression to their performances and then um, they look more and more comfortable on the ball every week. You saw, and we saw Danny Johnson on, there's been other players that have been signed. You're happy with the transfer window? Yeah, um, I think it's um, it's probably taken us all a little bit longer than perhaps we wanted to. Obviously, we got Lawrence done very quickly. We got Cissé done you know, you know, not not long after him, and obviously, uh, uh, obviously the same with George Marsh. But I mean, what we've now managed to do, Dave, is we've now managed to create some competition for places. You know, once these boys come back, we've got a packed and healthy squad in terms of the boys that come back from injury. But we've got competition for places. So now, Cissé's in com- direct competition with with Hector Kipriano. You know, Josh Wright, um, Craig Clay have got direct competition from. Marshy when he goes back into that position and, and so on and so forth. Joe Widdison can't get back in the team because of both his performances and then the strikers have, uh, have got stern competition all the time now which is, which is what we need. And is there a special relationship uh, development between the O's and Tottenham Hotspur? Uh, I, I'd like to think so. Um, 
obviously I, I've, I've worked there on, on two different occasions. I left left here to go to, to work at Tottenham quite a number of years ago now um, and I've maintained the relationships with a lot of people there. The fantastic thing for me is I know a lot of the boys so I know their characteristics, I know what they're about, I know the ones that maybe might be ready to, to jump in and, and, and play in League Two and the ones that perhaps need a little bit more time so that's fantastic. Tottenham have done uh, you know, we're delighted with the fact that they've given us the opportunity to take, continue with George Marsh and, and then obviously add, add Kazaya, a player with, uh, with, with a real opportunity of being another good player. So I'm delighted with the re- relationship and hopefully it's something that flourishes. How significant is his injury? No, it's not. If it has been uh, a difficult injury for him. I, think, I don't think it was a particularly severe injury when he'd done it. I think the recovery process has ended up taking a little bit longer than perhaps he hoped and, and, and Spurs first thought. So we're hoping that by the end of the month we'll see him in and around us he's going to be at home games and that sort of thing but we feel as though within within three or four weeks we're going to be able to see him around the group and you enjoyed it with the travelling faithful at the end yeah how can you not um, numbers were unbelievable I've, I've Martin quoted to me 12, 1400 before the game uh, I don't know if we went above that but I know it's obviously a great figure our fans are fantastic when we're away from home but to see them in those numbers today um, is, is, is a delight um, and to be able to give everybody, the fans, the players, the board members that are here today and the staff, that boost and that lift, because um, I think that, that result's been coming to a degree. Thanks very much, Ross. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.